Hey, what up all you crazy fucking YouTube viewers and shit? It's me, Michael Slice. I know I haven't rap at you motherfuckers in a while, but check it out. My dome ski is losing some of my hair. No big deal. I'm going Jason Statham style. You know, you don't even have to shave. Good deal. But I'll tell you what. When I'm biking, gotta protect this motherfucker. So I'm gonna give you guys a rapid fire test of some of the helmets that I would consider for my own dome. So this first one, um, I don't even remember what I got. You know, obviously you go on Amazon and you, you see what's out there and uh, test it out when you get home. Like, this is something that I've always experienced with all kinds of helmets. Obviously, you don't want it to, to be able to actually fly off your shit and uh that kind of stuff can be fixed with tightening okay and they all, it's all pretty complicated how to tighten these motherfuckers and for good reason they don't want it to just be you know you can loosen or tighten it anytime because Hopefully, it's going to stay where it is when you get into an accident. So, tighten it. And I'm telling you, okay, I ended up tightening it. If you, you want to sacrifice comfort, you can tighten almost any helmet. And definitely this one, which has good coverage. But the thing that pissed me off is this. Alright? Boom, boom, boom. It's sliding, it's sliding. So, this was the uh, retro spec. could work you could use it on a, a motorcycle you know real tight uh but it's just like it, it you'll get there but it's like you'll be able to adjust it but like i feel like it's i, I don't want that shiftiness it, it just encourages more looseness so moving on Now, if you've ever had a burn, I would think you're satisfied. Um, this is the Watts. It's actually one I've already had. Uh, I had the black, so I'll try a different color. And this one, it's like a little more modern than the one I had back in the day. The old school one didn't have this. So, it's a Watts EPS. And... I'm getting the same size in all these. This is a large. So that first one didn't nest, didn't go quite as uh, you know stormtrooper or whatever. Wow. I was originally recommended the burn from a nerdy science guy. He was like, yeah, it will be better in multiple collision accidents, um, which apparently means if you bash one thing the car hits you and then you bash into your back so i guess what he's saying is you know the coverage is better than just the one those like old school foam ones that's just kind of looks like a loaf of bread top of your head this one i already adjusted and just to show you guys if you want to be moderately comfortable which is what i adjusted this one for There's going to be a little bit of slippage, you know, and that is what it is. I saw in the reviews, people like the fact that it has aeration in the top. But also, if you're doing mountain biking, not a ton of holes to be catching branches, which, you know, which someone said that snapped his head back. I'm not surprised. Like, there's a lot of random ways to fuck yourself up, you know, riding down a trail pretty fast. So... I'm gonna say that one was uh, pretty good, like, pretty satisfied, but shit, I'm not going fast enough. Alright, so there's a different kind of, like, same helmet, but the even more modern version um, is called the, the MIPS, okay? So, if you look inside, it's got the, like, you love seeing... It's like kind of yellow safety type stuff. This one's called the MIPS. 
brain injury protection system. So it's more modern. This one I didn't even try on, but I'm just very curious about how the fit will be. It's good. It is good. Um, I don't know why it just... I have tried these helmets out at a bike shop, which, like, you might say is a dick move, but I, I have bought helmets at a bike shop. So, you know, for this video, I decided I would buy a whole bunch of these fucking helmets. And even if I might return some of them back to Amazon, you know, this might help guide some of you guys in your decision about what to buy. So you don't have to fucking return this shit. You know, and not fuck up the environment or whatever. Bro. I'm liking the MIPS to be dead ass. It just does feel like... Whew. Oh yeah, it has this little... I never even... I didn't try the... The back dial. On the last one. But the last one had it, so I'm gonna... I mean... I just like the MIPS. The one thing both of these lack that my last burn came with, or maybe I ordered it separate, is like the winter flaps. I'm sure, I'm sure you get them. This might be a little more side to side, but I'm sure it's nothing a little bit of tightening. Couldn't cure. But. I don't know, sometimes you do wonder, you're like, okay, uh, large, 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 that's, that's not great, like, what are the different tightening systems, okay, like, and you need to kind of experiment with them, you don't just, you don't just say, oh, yeah, no, it's, it's broken, hmm, I don't know. Let's go back to the last normal burn. Just real quick and check to see if it had that side to side. Yeah, so similar. But, uh, I don't know. Like, what, what did they really improve between the two? Obviously, the yellow color is cool. But... If I look really hard, kind of looks the same. Um, and I'm not just saying that, I just looked at that for the first time. But this MIPS thing you could read up on, I'm sure. It's an extra 30 bucks. And I mean, that's the kind of stuff they get you with the fear factor marketing, right? It's like it's a brain protection thing. And someone is someone's trying to charge you thirty bucks to protect your fucking brain. It's like no brainer. Aha, uh -huh, okay. But I also was interested in checking out some unorthodox shit, okay? Look, you know you can see a lot of the like the, the, the top hat like specialized and giant whatever the fuck things you see on the Tour de France, but like bro, for me I, I like mountain biking, I like street riding, and I'm aware of, you know, incidents and accidents with cars, trees, coyotes, I don't fucking know, whatever, oh, okay, so this is the Avis, yet again a large, but this is the tightest fit by far, but once you get your head in, oh shit, yeah, it's got like a little inner socket, and again, that sideways motion is there. Let's see if it remains when you strap up. Okay. Tighten that up. Yeah. Yeah, kind of similar with the, uh, the burn. A little, maybe even a little less sideways, but... This one's snug. Maybe I'm a little too tight. If I was gonna, if I'm gonna actually ride right around, I'm gonna be like this, and uh, 
This one actually does feel the most snug. I don't like it on my chin. You see, it's got like this weird little like pad. It's like they know, like yeah, that we are. That's our one flaw. Is this fucking clasp is gonna dig into your goddamn Adam's apple? Okay, just it. Uh, but yeah, it's it feels like a ball cap actually. This Abus. Um, I don't know like what we're giving any of these for style points. I kind of selected them all based on Amazon reviews and style points. Whoa, yeah. I mean, there's. That's interesting. Let's see. Let's call this the. Well, yeah. See, I didn't actually adjust it. Actually. Actually, fuck with these things. really concerned if it's if it's a pan probably not you just shouldn't have to do this too many times but oh yeah see that's interesting right there it's like the, the, how strong even are the clasps it's just I didn't even do that test Look back with the uh, MIPS Burn. Yeah. You don't want it like that. Okay, snug fit is great, but if it comes directly off your head, that's bad. And that's why, you know, I do these practical tests. It might look silly, but, uh, you know, if you think you can just trust the scientists to do all the most fucking, like, Logical, normal tests, bro. Buddy. Oh! Well, I guess that was actually all the helmets for tonight. This one might just be a pair of sneaks for myself. Wait a minute. Oh, those actually look pretty nice. For my dome. Um, no, yeah, those are for my dome, but no, my actual dome, I think that, uh, the burn, as I mentioned, killed it, it's just, you go back to the fit a little bit, this thing, it's how my old one fit, it felt really large in a lot of times, but, you know. It ain't coming off you. That's why it looked like this shit in fucking World War Two, you know? They weren't they weren't stupid. But uh yeah, I mean uh with this MIPS you can probably just see the comfort difference. It's like, okay. Looking, peering on the interior of the two. Don't notice much, but here That's the MIPS. That's the normal watts. Ow. It's just, it's like, it's got less of, it's just a little bit less of padding. So, it's the MIPS. The burn MIPS. Buy one.